Hello! Welcome to Kids Club at Home. My name is Kate and I'm happy that you're here today. We are going to make some noise today. By using objects that you can find in your recycling bin, we are going to make mini loudspeakers to amplify the sound coming out of your phone. If you do not have your own phone, you could use a tablet for this or you could borrow a phone from your parents or siblings or a friend, but you have to ask permission first. For this activity, you will need a paper towel holder, two paper cups, a couple of paper towels, scissors, a pen, and then you're gonna need some stuff to decorate your speaker, so you could use markers, crayons, whatever. And then obviously, you'll need a phone. So today's activity explores the science behind sound. Science, which is the S in STEAM, supports your child's ever-developing understanding of the world around them. And a sturdy background knowledge will support reading comprehension skills. In addition, science-based inquiry helps your child develop critical thinking skills. Critical thinking skills supports their ability to solve problems for themselves and think independently when they take in new material. Before we begin, my question to you is, what is your favorite type of music? I tend to go for pop, but I also like R&B, and my favorite songs tend to have an upbeat tempo and thoughtful lyrics. If you have any suggestions on music, please leave them in the comments. I'm always looking for some good suggestions. So let's listen now to some music because that'll kind of give us an idea uh, to compare to when we make our speakers. Let's see how it sounds without any modifications, just coming straight out of the phone. I don't want to see me dance. So what do you think? Can we improve the sound? We will soon find out. We're going to do it just with a little bit of paper. So as I said, you can do this activity with supplies that you have at home, but it's always a good idea to run it by any adults in your household before you start taking things or cutting things up. By the way, we always wanna hear from you on ideas for activities. So if you have any ideas on things that you'd like to see me or anyone else do for Kids Club, please leave them in the comments or on social media. So like I said, today's activity explores sound waves. Sound waves are made up of vibrations and they travel from your phone speaker to your ears and when they get to your ears, they make the delicate skin inside your ear move around and vibrate. And we are going to make the sound from this little tiny speaker sound more robust or full by bouncing it off the inside of the paper towel tube, which we're also going to stuff with paper towels and hopefully make it sound a little bit better. All right, we are now ready to start constructing our speaker. So step number one, take your phone and trace the bottom of your phone on the top of your paper towel holder. And then we're going to cut into the paper towel holder very carefully I'm gonna have to kind of hold it steady, watch your fingers, puncture it, and then we're gonna cut out a little flap. Watch your fingers. Okay, so open the flap a little bit. So you've got now a place 
to set your phone into. Oop. I need to cut a little bit more. Let's see. Whoops. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, next part, we're going to take the end of your paper towel, let me switch hands here, and you're going to trace a circle that's the same size of the end of your paper towel. This is not as easy as it looks. Okay, again, be very careful when you make sure your fingers are out of the way when you make your initial puncture <laughs> into the cup. Just please watch your fingers. Okay, and then you're gonna cut out the circle that you just traced with the end of your paper towel tube. Okay, you can get rid of this garbage. And then basically you're going to take your other cup and trace the other end of the paper towel holder. Same size, of course. Okay, so now we have our paper towel tube with the top cut out with the flap to put our phone inside. We have our two cups with the uh, sides cut out because those are gonna go on here. The next thing we're gonna do is take your paper towels and we're gonna shove them in the side sides, each side of the paper towel tube. And that's gonna help absorb some of the sound coming out of the phone and give it a more robust sound. So if you don't have paper towels, I was thinking you could probably use some other things. I wonder if you could use newspaper, I don't know. Could you use tissue maybe? Tissue's not really as thick as paper towels, so maybe like gift tissue paper? Why do you think one thing might work better than the other? You could certainly experiment at home. It's easy enough to take out the paper towel and put tissue in there or, like I said, gift paper or newspaper or notebook paper. I don't know if each thing would sound different or not. But we're gonna go ahead and put our cups onto the end. Okay. in the top. The last part, oh that's much sturdier now, okay. The last part is to decorate your speaker. I think I might put some flames on mine or I don't know, I like red so I might decorate it red. What do you think you're going to use on yours? I guess it depends on what you have at home. Okay, it's the moment of truth. I decorated my speaker with some flames as I said and I think it's time to put the phone back in and see if the sound coming out of it sounds any better with our tube and our paper towels and our cups. So I know I asked earlier if you had any music to recommend to me. I've been thinking about playing the playlist Hits You Missed on my Spotify. You probably got a similar playlist if you listen to Spotify because what they do is they make uh, a calculation, they use an algorithm based on the music that you did listen to this year, and they put all that data together and make a report and add some fancy graphics and give you some recommendations that are similar to what you listen to. So I'm excited to try that. But let's take a listen right now. I 
I sound better. Really does. It's kind of cool. Pretty cool. Can you think of any other ways? Can you think of any other ways that you might get the same result? Knowing what you know now about sound and how it vibrates. I bet you could maybe, I don't know, use a tissue box or another type of cardboard box as well. I bet that would work as well. I would love to know what you come up with. You can tag CLP or email us, reach out to us on social media, all the normal ways. We'd love to see if you come up with something different. So I found this activity in this book. It's called Smithsonian Maker Lab 28 Super Cool Projects, and it's by Jack Schaliner. And this is chock full of great activities for school age kids. And most of them are using items that you can find easily around your house. Uh, it's also available as an ebook version on Overdrive. And speaking of ebooks, this is a terrific ebook. It's called Steam Lab for Kids by Liz Lee Henneke. And it is available on Hoopla right now. So Hoopla and Overdrive are both e-platforms that you can use with your library card for free. And they have ebooks, audiobooks, music, and movies. You can also order um, Smithsonian to pick up at your local library if you'd rather have the hard copy. If you do need help getting a library card, you can sign up through our website. Or if you have a question, you can call 412-622 3114 and a librarian will be happy to help you. If you want to learn more, you can go to our website again and with your library card, you can connect to a bunch of e-resources. One is called InfoBase Science Online and there you can find information about various science topics. You could do research, you could watch videos, they have experiments to do. It's really pretty cool. So that's all at www.carnegielibrary.org. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you had a good time. And if you do take a picture of your project, tag at Carnegie Library and keep an eye out at your neighborhood location for grab and go supplies. We have new ones every week. I look forward to seeing you again next time.